What's up guys, CJ back once again for Kung Fu Night and it is time for more Office. I'm on season eight, episode five, I think. It is called Spooked. Uh, for starters, if you enjoy the content, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Let's me know you enjoy the content, helps things with the algorithm and the channel and the videos. Uh, there are also um, Patreon tiers that are available in the description. You got a link there. And if you want to get ahead, if you want uncut reactions, anything that you may be missing here over on the YouTube side, that's available there for you as well. Last time we had the garden party episode, lots of fun. Uh, we're seeing Andy do his best to um, be at peace with his role. More costumes, more parties. What else would you expect from uh, Dunder Mifflin Scranton at this point? It's gonna be lots of fun. I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna get right into it. Chef from South Park, it's genius. Just some chef. Don't be offensive, don't be cliche, and don't take the first two rules too seriously. So do whatever you want. The gorilla from Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Um, yeah, uh, see, Phyllis is wild out here, bro. Somebody called that. Who? Kevin has a gorilla suit you could borrow. Coming into work with that? This is ridiculous. Why can't there just be two Kate Middleton? I thought you were at your sister's funeral. What I said was, my sister's funeral is this weekend. Didn't say I'd be there. Why is it such a shock Ooh. that I follow the royal story? Warms my heart. Thinking about them two kids. Doing it. And I was gonna walk through the door. Can I? Excuse <laughs> the... Is that the there you go. There we go. Thank you. Oh, she's when Wendy. You talk about all the nice things. Nice. Dwayne oh. Wade. Ah! Come on, the three of me. 2011, baby. Dallas Mavericks. Let's go. All right. I know. I know. I know. I am Chris Bosh. <laughs> if you get into season one. Holy shit. <laughs> The three kings. I know, I know, There's I one know, king, though. But here I am. Whoopi Goldberg. Has no one here no. heard of Kerrigan from StarCraft? Oh, no. Queen of Blades. Weapons into the office. And every Freddy Krueger. I've seen the front cover of this movie. Back, I'm hey, Jigsaw. But there I am at Thanksgiving, alive. Best we can do? Is he Bob the Builder? I'm not judging. I Whoa, great Creed. Episode. Robert, California. Looking forward to Halloween party. Expectations are high. Scared the <laughs> He's not coming dressed up, I'm calling it. Could you shoot this off for me? What are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to see how you do it. If you're doing something I don't. Oh. That Andy, so hot and cold. One day he's like, fax these documents, please. The next he's like, Pam, you fax them. Here's what Aaron's feeling. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Pam, uh... you... yeah. yeah. Send completed. You are the best in the biz, I can't deny. <laughs> Bob and I are doing this thing. She sent the facts. When I was 22, I worked there, and everybody said the place was haunted behind the bar. And I see this old man turn around. There's no one there. Oh. Tell the cook my story. Wait, they have food there? And he said, <laughs> that's what everyone sees. No. My wife does not believe in ghosts. She believes in ghosts, bro. There it was. I saw a ghost. Ever wonder what it was? It was a ghost. I told you this on, like, our first date. Hey, Jim. But I saw a ghost. Everyone, this is Bert, my son. Hello. Where's Ernie? <laughs> but he can play. Pretty boy, would you like to play this game? That stuff's for babies. Well, perhaps this party will awaken the baby in all of us. Wow, who shot? Now we're the skeleton, skeleton crew. <laughs> Delightful. Then how are we today? Fine. Great. <laughs> Just fine, Kelly, everything all right? So there is something you want that you do not have. Somebody better than Ryan. I had to think about it. This is great fear of yours. Never marry. Yes. How are you, Toby? <laughs> so great. <laughs> what are you, anyway? I'm a Jamaican zombie woman. Leave me alone, ghoul. <laughs> if you had some really big wings with blades on the end, you'd kind of look like Kerrigan from StarCraft. Ooh, you just made a friend, bro. <laughs> Kerrigan is ruler of the Zerg Swarm. Yeah, she also has boobs. Yeah, but no nipples. <laughs> um, I just thought you could use some help, you know, because Robert came in and thought the party seemed a little kiddy, and I guess I agreed. Damn. That's it? Hmm? 
There's nothing about me or I. Uh, can we talk about it at the end of the day? Don't be so cold, bro. Oh, yeah, talk sorry. to her. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hmm? Andy, you fool. I could use some extra pizzazz. Okay. Where does Gabe factor in? Remember that Halloween party you took me to once? The more scary and sexy stuff. <laughs> You're pushing them back together, bro. <laughs> no. This laugh is scary. It's Jim Albert. I was wondering if you wanted to see a movie tonight because I've read a lot about this really great documentary. <laughs> is it called Ghostbusters? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you know ghosts. <laughs> nice. Whoa. She was once an artist. Mm -hmm. Everyone hates you. That's really rude. I don't tell you hurricanes suck, even though it's true. Do you like tornadoes? I was talking about my wife and how she believes in ghosts. And then we had a little debate. You seem unimpressed. Ghosts don't scare you? I'm only scared of real things. Things that don't exist, like ghosts or mummies. Mummies are real. There are mummies at museums. <laughs> yeah. The years, they're all over. They just don't choke people and have Why superhuman strength. Why on earth would a museum put a mummy in it? <laughs> real fast get out of here little kid party nobody loves you and clean up your room grown-ups are gonna use it later party that was pretty Fox cute time for me to pop back on the computer i'm using it i'm about to play starcraft with him nice yeah i'm seeing you art is tight e fog is cold thanks e? it's on medium perfect <laughs> it's on medium it really looks <laughs> great you did a great job oh so we don't have to have that talk what is going on between them? Oh, it's been so hey, weird. Hey, everybody. The most well-known film in the genre is, what is an hour-long shot of a squirrel with diarrhea. Oh. Is that my grandmother? <laughs> what? what, is story? what, what there is, is no story. What the hell is going hey, on here? Okay, I think we've seen enough. You can turn it off. <laughs> I think I know what to do now. This game is called Pecker Poker. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the game whoa, whoa. of cards that gets you hard. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think to do? The two of you are obviously very close. Get these kids in line, Robert. Did you think I was going to fire you? I, no, I wasn't. I'm sorry, this must be really uncomfortable for you. I'm never uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I believe that. You've been dating someone? Unless it's your mom. <laughs> no, I didn't want her to call because I thought it would be weird, but now it's weird that she's not calling. I'm so happy for you guys. National Press. That seemed truthful, but... Jim doesn't I... let me wash his NFL uh, jersey. Did I forget something? Or is this all off camera? Here. Go, get up there right now. Got it. Dwight. You want to attack or let them come to us? Your call, B. Unleash the hellstorm. <laughs> right. Nice. That looks terribly real, doesn't it, Creed? No. Are you scared of snakes? You don't live as long as I have without a healthy fear of snakes, Bobby. We're talking about everybody's fears, aren't Jim we here? The creeps. What am I up to? You know, when did that start? A few years down the road. Wasn't, that wasn't always the case for Meredith. There was an empty house. Just up the hill from my family and committed suicide there after being possessed by the devil. Very night, Lydia was awakened by a loud, heinous hissing in baby's crib. It was a snake wrapped around baby's neck, squeezing tighter and tighter. Oh my goodness. The crib was clawing, gasping for air. Buried. Embalmed bodies rose. For they were mummies. <laughs> oh, amongst the tall, slim, <laughs> instinctively. I don't have a husband. <gasps> we're one inch farther apart until one night Lydia left. It was about this time she lost herself in imaginary worlds. <laughs> she had quit every time she wanted to act and didn't. Another part of her face hardened until it was stone. And that fevered night, maybe sat up slowly turned to mother and said i'm fine bitch what <laughs> i don't know what to say 
How dare we let it into our decision making, into our livelihoods? And My damn bones, damn bones, dry bone. What? You heard me. Pack your things. <laughs> what? You... You're done. What the fuck? <laughs> Dwight, nice one, bro. Beautiful. <laughs> I really love watching uh, Dwight and Robert's son bond. It, it, it was really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> it's funny how they hated each other initially and then they just hit it off and then by the end of it, where they're both just fucking with Toby. Uh, I really, I really loved that. Best part of this episode might have been Robert California's story. He tied everyone's fear into it, and I missed a couple of them. Maybe Aaron's one was a little confusing. I'm sure it had something to do with her situation with Andy today, but I think a lot of times at the end of the Office episodes, even whenever My Michael was like monologuing. It's kind of hard to keep up, but it was really easy to keep up with Robert California's monologue at the end of end of this one and talking about celebrating fear and uh, Halloween once a year, all that stuff and everything with this episode. Really, really cool and um, nice tightly knit the way they did that. I love having Robert California here. I, I love having this dude here, man. It is something else. It looks like Aaron and Andy had some resolution. Is it dark in here or is it just me? I don't think I'm good. It, it seems like Aaron and Andy had some resolution to their conflict there at the end. I think they're just cool. Um, why do I still get the feeling that Andy's situation that he's talking about with dating and all that is bullshit? Why do I still get that feeling? I mean, I guess that would make sense like as to why he has been so distant from her. I, I, that would explain that but I still would have expected some kind of more evidence that they are a thing or they're dating. I mean, he said he didn't get calls from her, but I think there's some misunderstanding on on Andy's part there with the dynamic of their relationship or something. I don't know. The Pam and Jim stuff was lots of fun with the ghosts and <laughs> the surprise he gets. Honestly, for me, bro, I would say I have a <laughs> I have a fear of anything that is like negatively spiritual or perhaps demonic. I don't like any of those movies. I don't fuck around with shit like that. I don't have a whole lot of evidence um, and like experiences like Pam has talked about or a house at the end of the street that someone got murdered in, things like that. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go down that path. Um, I, I'm never going into no damn buildings. You can, you can go check and snoop around. I'm gonna be fucking sitting on the damn sidewalk chilling, man. I don't know. Waiting to see. Or I'm just gonna take my ass home, bro. I ain't sticking around, maybe, even, even that far. The Meredith stuff. The Meredith being disgusted or being afraid of Jim. When did that start? Because early on, she wanted, uh, she wanted Jim's attention. I'm a little confused as to where Gabe got all his footage. We had Aaron misinterpret trying to make things more adult and more sexy and then made them more disturbing. Aaron is very childlike, we know this. She, she's very innocent and she wants Andy's approval or she wants to be seen okay by him. At least they're cool at the end of this episode, okay. I don't know if I have too much. My mind's getting kind of scattered here towards the end of this. So I'm gonna close out this reaction, you guys. If you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when the next Office reactions are coming out. Uh, next episode is called something that I do not know, but, oh, yes I do, it is Doomsday, damn. Uh, that one's available on Patreon, depending on how you're watching this. We're very likely done with the series by this point. So if you want full and uncut reactions, link is in the description for Patreon tiers. And, um, Everything that you could be missing here over on the YouTube side is available over there. And I believe we are done with the series at this point. I think that wraps up my thoughts for this one, you guys. I'm going to catch you guys next time.